In this project, we use randomized sampling to construct controls for physically simulated character animation. The yellow character on the left shows the results of direct trajectory tracking using proportional derivative controls. The blue character on the right shows the corresponding motion captured reference trajectories. Now the yellow character shows the simulations obtained using the controls reconstructed by our sampling method. Within a few minutes of computation on a small cluster of 80 cores, we can reconstruct a diverse set of captured motions, including walking, running, rolling, and keep up jumps. Our method can handle different kinematic and dynamic models, such as this quadruped model. The inherent randomness of a sampling scheme naturally creates a degree of motion variation due to its stochastic nature. Our method is able to generate interesting motion transformations thanks to its robustness. Here, a forward row on flat ground is transformed to a forward row on steps and ramps. It can also be transformed to a dive and roll for significant high drops. Dynamic parameters, such as the stiffness of the ground, can be altered to generate rolling on hard or soft materials. In this example, walking is reconstructed on a terrain with scattered pebbles. Similarly, our character can walk on icy surfaces. Here we demonstrate the reconstruction of a walk on a balance beam. The input trajectory can be manually edited by an artist to shape the synthesis, balancing behaviors and secondary animations are achieved automatically by our algorithm. Motion retargeting is another application of the proposed method. In this example, we retarget a sideways rolling motion captured from a human subject onto an Asimo-like robot, whose kinematic and dynamic properties, as well as the collision geometries, are significantly different. In scenarios where no reference trajectories can be easily defined or captured, we can begin with user-specified key poses and use a dynamic version of an RRT-like sampling algorithm to generate controls, as shown in this example of idling behavior in a chair. Here we compare the sit idle motion synthesized from our method, an artist design animation clip, and a motion capture trial. Subjectively speaking, the quality of the synthesized motion is comparable to the quality of the other two idling animations. Here is an example of idling in a rocking chair. The character looks relaxed and natural, and the dynamic rocking is automatically generated as a side effect of the simulation. We can further compose controls of individual motions using a hybrid approach, where dynamic simulation and kinematic blending are mixed on an as-needed basis. This allows for limited forms of online interaction with a simulated character. <laughs>